O little town of Bethlehem, we're reading the story of the nativity. I'm at the California State Capitol. Matthew chapter 2. We've come to the story of the wise men, and they're following the star to the city of Bethlehem. The Bible tells us when the wise men came into Jerusalem, King Herod wanted to meet with him. And when he met with all of the wise men, they were questioned who they were looking for and where the Messiah would be. And then they dismissed the wise men. And King Herod called in all of his scholars, all of the religious leaders, and he asked them, where will the Messiah be born? And the Bible tells us that they responded by quoting from the prophet Micah, saying that he would be born in the city of Bethlehem. Another prophecy being fulfilled in the story of the birth of Christ. Being here at the California State Capitol is always a great privilege. I enjoy coming because I like seeing all of the preparation for Christmas. Here on this campus, I've seen nativity scenes. I've seen enormous Christmas trees, all decorated with lights. The California State Capitol represents an enormous city in an enormous state. In contrast, the city of Bethlehem was actually more like a village. We might even call it a farming community. It was very, very small. Why in the world would Joseph and Mary travel some 67, 60 to 70 miles to the small farming community or village called Bethlehem when she was expecting a child? Well, the Bible reveals that answer to us in the Gospel of Luke. For every family had to register in the home of their ancestors. And did you know all the way back in the book of Ruth, we read about Naomi and her husband. They were going through a great famine, Ruth chapter 1. And when they were going through that famine, he decided, the husband, Elimelech, he decided to relocate to Moab. But the Bible lets us know that he relocated from his home city called Bethlehem. After his death in Moab, Naomi would return with her daughter-in-law, Ruth. Ruth would find and marry a man by the name of Boaz. In what city? In the city of Bethlehem. And then the Bible tells us at the end of the book of Ruth that Boaz and Ruth would have a son named Obed, who had a son named Jesse, who had a son named David. Let me come fast forward to the life of David, who would become king. Saul had disobeyed God, and the Bible tells us that God spoke to, to Samuel, the prophet, and said, I want you to go to the city, and I'm going to show you someone to, to anoint his king. And what city was that? It was the city of Bethlehem. You see, Obed, Jesse, and David all grew up in the city of Bethlehem. Later on, the city of Bethlehem would be called the city of David, his birthplace where he grew up. And now fast forward to the Gospel of Matthew and Joseph, who was a descendant that's right, of Naomi, of Ruth, of Obed, of Jesse, of David, was required to return back to the city of Bethlehem to register. Oh, isn't it something, God's prophetic word being fulfilled? What a season this is, Christmas. I pray you fill your heart with the stories of the birth of Christ. O oh, little town of Bethlehem, from you would come a great ruler, the shepherd of God's people. You be blessed today as you study the word of God together in Jesus' name.